Okay, great. Now, in this lesson, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and uh, take um, the image of the rabbit that we scanned in earlier, and we're actually going to go ahead and trace that image. I'm going to leave this at 800 by 600. Uh, so just go ahead and change that to pixels. Actually, if it'll let us hear pixels, wonderful. We're going to go OK. And here at this point, we've got the blank canvas as usual. Uh, so no problems there. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and place a pre-scanned uh, image. Because remember, Illustrator itself, you cannot actually uh, scan an image right in. Now I'm just going to go to my pictures, uh, and I've got a few scans already in here that I've done. And we're going to take the one that I did previously, which is rabbit number two. So I'm going to go ahead and scan that in. And there we go. Looks pretty decent. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, because what you're going to find is that the only thing that we're going to do with this is we're basically just going to use it as an area to trace. And I'm just going to go ahead and put trace there for right now. Very, very simple. And I'm going to go ahead and change its opacity a bit. Make it a little bit lighter. Wonderful. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock it. Okay, so now that it is locked, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm just going to call this one Draw. You know, just, just for, the, for the sake of calling it something to make it kind of easy for the lesson. Now, if any of you have uh, taken some of our other classes, uh, some of the things that you've done was maybe tracing a fish with the uh, pen tool, among other things. But I'm going to go ahead and, and use a very similar concept, but it's not something that's pre-done. It's something that you've drawn out, something that you've sketched. And, you know, as you can see, you can just create something wonderful that, that you've actually done yourself with your own hand. So I always start with the pen tool when I'm doing something like this. And I'm going to go ahead and just make it a little bit thicker. And I've got the stroke set uh, right there to black. And I'm going to go ahead and take any fills out for right now. So if you notice, we've got no fill and we've got a black stroke. So here at this point, I'm taking the pen tool. And it is the pen tool, not the add anchor, not the delete, not the convert. The pen tool. So here at this point, I'm going to click on uh, one of the points here that I want to create to start making the ear of the rabbit. So I'm going to click right there. And then I can just move maybe up to this point right here. And voila, now I can kind of go ahead and move the anchor a little bit to try to kind of fill uh, or kind of move the um, line to where it needs to be. Very, very simple. Nothing difficult, doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, what we're doing is we're using the uh, uh, tracing image on the bottom uh, to go ahead and just kind of give us some direction, a guide of what we want to create. So now I'm going to go ahead and go right here to this end. I'm going to create another point. And once again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create another point over here. I'm going to create another point over here. Actually, I went a little bit overboard right there. There we go. There's my point. I'm going to run over here and create another point. Maybe give it a little bit of a curve there. And then last but not least, and this is all important, when I move over that first point I created, as you can see here, it turns into a little circle or a mini meatball, as I like to call it right there. So there we go. Now we've closed the actual path. And we can tell that we've closed it because if I flip the fill, no fill, you see that right there. Now, don't worry too much about things being perfect. Once again, this is not intended to be perfect, uh, but it will allow you to go ahead and just to kind of start getting things in place. We'll go ahead and refine them here in a little bit. So here we go. Here's my rabbit right here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to use the pin tool uh, to create this round area. Let me control Z there. This round area right here of the rabbit's head. So I'm going to click right there. Beautiful. I'm going to click right there in the middle kind of of his head. Make it kind of round. Perfect. I'm going to click right here in this area. And once again, just kind of fill it up a little bit. And does not have to be perfect. So you can see I kind of click the halfway points. 
they've kind of get this done and as you can see this one's not going to cooperate with me too much but you know what I'm not too worried about that right now because I'm going to be able to fix it later so once again trying to get this one to work just right just kind of be in the general area or general vicinity by moving the, the nodes or the anchors to where they need to be and once again right there you know and you notice in my sketch I didn't close it but I am going to close it here by moving to that first point and voila it's been closed so now you know our rabbit's looking kind of funny there it looks like it's got you know it looks like the godfather because it's got that puffy area right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the direct selection tool and I am going to now click right here on this point and as you can see I've got some handles now and I can grab this handle and I can kind of bring that in a little bit kind of manipulate it a tad to where I get it to where I want it to be I'll move this other point right here kind of move it to the bottom right there so, so you can see working with the points with the direct selection tool really gives you a lot of flexibility and I know some of you may have been frustrated because you couldn't get this to work exactly the way you wanted well you know just it takes practice and, and there really is no substitute for practice so once again I'm gonna use the pen tool I'm gonna go ahead and create my point right there create my point right there so let me make sure I've got the pen tool selected pen tool create my point create my point right there once again my dogs trying to take over the show create another point right there another point right there another point right there and then I'm gonna close it right there okay great looks good I'm gonna use the same thing for the teeth As you can see right there once again doesn't have to be perfect I just create a brand new point and fix this real quick and then create a brand new point right there so we've kind of created the teeth right there at that point and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna create once again this little area right here with the pen tool and at first it may seem kind of odd that we're using the pen tool to do this just okay that'll work that looks pretty good I'll adjust it later and I'll just go ahead and make a point right there point right there it doesn't really matter too much because I'm gonna go ahead and put a circle right here you're gonna see what I mean here in a little bit so let me just go ahead and show you what I've got I'm gonna take off the trace all right we're getting pretty close we're getting pretty close to where I want to be and now I'm gonna go ahead and create the nose out of just a circle right here and I'm going to grab the direct selection tool and I'm going to go ahead and bring here in a second I'm going to grab a piece right there of the nose I could make it bigger make it smaller I just kind of want to make it line up right there with this line that I created I'm going to go ahead and create the eyes now so I'm just going to use circles to create the eyes Perfect. I go ahead and just move this over just a tad. There we go. And I'll just go ahead and flip the fill on this. So like this now, flip the fill. Perfect. And then for this hair part here, it would almost be impossible uh, to do with the pen tool. I'm going to go ahead and do something a little bit different. I've already got the fill select it to black I'm just going to use the brush to kind of trace over it and just so you know guys I am not using my pen tool I'm using a simple 
mouse, so I'm not using my uh, Wacom tablet uh, because I know not everybody has one, so I wanted to do this without it. Uh, okay, great. So here at this point, I'm going to uh, turn off the trace. And there you go. It actually looks pretty good. And I'm just going to make some refinements with a direct selection tool. And I'm just going to make a few little refinements here uh, to kind of improve things a little bit. Maybe bring in the ear a little bit closer. There we go. And, and one thing that, that we can definitely do is I'm going to select everything by pressing Shift, selecting the pieces that I want. And remember, you can also use the meatball to go ahead and select those pieces uh, that you want. And I'm going to go ahead and select all of the lines that I want. And what I'm going to go ahead and do here at this point is I really just want to go to brushes. And I want to open up this little dialog box area there. Open up my brush library. And I probably want to go ahead and open up some brushes that will allow me to go ahead and uh, spruce up uh, what we've currently got. And I'm going to go ahead and just go with some ink brushes, and I think those will those will look great. Uh, you know that really doesn't doesn't work. It it's for me. There we go. So that gives it a nice thicker uh, look and feel. And we can do something very similar with the teeth. There we go. So you know it depends. I mean you don't have to make the the, the lines as thick for the, for the teeth. Uh, but it's something you can definitely just go ahead and go in here uh, and kind of modify it a little bit. There we go. That's that's a little bit better. And we can take maybe some of these lines and decrease uh, their thickness as well. And that looks a whole heck of a lot better. So now once you're done with that, now we can actually go in here and we can go ahead and select the swatches right here. And we can actually go in here and open swatch library. And we've got... Uh, very very a lot of different colors that we can go ahead and select from uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just go with the celebration colors because they're very bright uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and I want my rabbit to have a really vivid uh, really vivid colors and it's okay if he looks kind of funny because he's he's meant to be kind of funny There we go. So, you know, I kind of like the way he's he's looking now. He's looking kind of playful, kind of, uh, you know, off the wall. And that's okay, because that, that is exactly uh, what I want. Now, I'm sure you'll be able to do a lot more with uh, your creation. Um, and once you trace them in and you actually do all kinds of, 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 of neat stuff uh, with you. With... Now, I'm sure you'll be able to do all kinds of neat stuff with your creation.